Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Well, I hope you followed the advice of Wells Fargo Bank. Wells Fargo Bank yesterday declared gold would be a bubble and warned its clients to get out of gold. And the fact of the matter, of course, this morning, and I'm not sure whether ha ha ha, Wells Fargo's forecast had anything to do with this. Gold is, of course, up 21 bucks trading north of 1810. You will recall the last few days, a lot of people have been on the triple top theory and, you know, three times trying to break 1800. Now it's not going to happen. So we'll see what happens today. But the fact of the matter is the world economy is a mess. And we've got detailed, and it's difficult for me to keep saying this. Look on our website, check out some of the reasons. Not only are we in a mess, but we're going to be in a mess for a while. Uh, and, and you'll see that gold precious metals, platinum more than palladium, and rare earths are going to be the place to be. On that score of rare earths, uh, the Zankop's Drift uh, mining area in South Africa, Northern Cape Province, has uh, been declared to contain about rare earths at about a 2.2% grade. This means about 22,000 tons per year coming out of Zankop's Drift uh, by 2015. Now, what's significant about this is that frontier rare earths are the people who are, they're traded on Toronto and elsewhere. Frontier rare earths, FRO, are the people that own this. This is clearly the third largest holding of rare earths, strategically important because it's outside of South Africa. So, you know, we're encouraging, we're adding Frontier to our buy list, we're encouraging our clients to take a hard look at that as another excellent opportunity to be investing in the rare earths area. Gold rare earths, 10 to 17 percent of your portfolio ought to be in those areas, particularly with this quote-unquote yield you're getting. And now that the Federal Reserve has announced the interest rate for the next couple of years, you know you're not going to be making any money on the <laughs> on the money in the bank. There's no CD that's going to bail you out, none of that stuff, okay? So 10 to 17 percent of your portfolio in gold and rare earths, that's an increase for us as well. Now, we're so optimistic about what's going on in the gold area because we're entering the high demand season starting in about seven and eight days because Ramadan will be over and in those parts of the world, the buying, heavy buying starts. Diwali, the Festival of Lights. I go over this stuff because, you know, it's, it's important to remember that gold is actually a commodity. People who talk about it as a bubble don't recognize that it has a commodity. It's a commodity. So when there's more demand than there is supply, the price goes up. It's very simple. Let's we start talking this gold stuff. We were, there's written material of us calling gold at 405. So we're in the view that uh, you know, you're going to keep your trading stops in order. Uh, you're also going to call us or call us directly, 781-380-8888, if you want today's trade or trades that are good through Monday in the gold area, in our opinion. Uh, you know, and you're going to make a pile of money. Uh, there's a real lot more money to be made in gold. People who really are widely regarded in the financial world as sober, solid-sided, non-gold bug folk like Standard Chartered are calling for gold to be 2500 bucks by next spring. Other people are calling it to be 5000 in the next couple of years. So, this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows. Look for the trouble spots. Look for places where people tell you not to be. That's where the profits are. Arnie Waters. Have a great day.